Hi everyone. I am currently on holidays. Uh, America. I'm in um, in a hotel, and I know I wasn't. I know I said I wasn't going to be making any more videos uh, for this month. I just felt I really needed to make a review on this movie. It's a new Kevin Smith movie, spin-off of Tusk, which I really liked. If you if you don't know, uh, I think Tusk is just a very funny movie, and even though it's a bit over the top. That's kind of my thing. I like weird. I like unique. You know, it's it's kind of unique in a way. It's more psychologically effective than actually like scary. Um, but here we go. So Yoga Hoses has a few different plots actually. It picks on one plot. It picks one plot, and then it says no, we're gonna go to the this other plot, and then it just goes to another plot, and then it goes to another, and then it goes to another, and lots of things feel shoehorned in. But really, the main plot of this movie. Is a, uh, it's about these two yoga nuts, uh, people, who, these two girls who love yoga basically, but they also love playing on their phones, they do Instagram and all that, they basically live on their phones. Um, and uh, these girls are played by Harley Quinn Smith and Lily Rose Melody Depp. Harley Quinn Smith is uh, Kevin Smith's daughter and Lily Rose Depp is um, Johnny Depp's daughter. Um, and one day their convenience store, which they own, uh, gets taken over by little Bratsies, which is, a uh, they're basically little sausage men who were Nazis, you know, little Nazis made out of brat bratwurst, whatever. Um, so yeah, these guys are taking over their store. There are, there are more, there's more to it, there's way more to it, as they have to take down, like, this Canadian Hitler, sort of, um, uh, with Guy Lapointe, you know, he helps them out. I don't want to give too much away. I want I want you to have a bit of fun, um, but that's all. I, yeah, that's all I really want to say. Um, I will give you a slight spoiler warning though. There are a couple things I want to talk about. I also might spoil a bit of Tusk, um, but that's about it. So um, yeah. In the end, guys, I'm I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying this. I really did enjoy this movie, even though I love Tusk. I loved, and this is a this is a spin off to Tusk. Um, it's a it's a second part of a trilogy. It's going to include Tusk, Yoga Hoses, and Moose Jaws. But Yoga Hoses, uh, even though Tusk is a better movie, a better movie than Yoga Hoses, I still I still feel that I could watch Yoga Hoses more. Like Tusk is one of those movies where it's great, but you could only watch it about one or two times. Yoga Hoses, I feel like I could watch it like five times in a day. Uh, if, like, my grandma had someone over and I was stuck in my room or something um, and I had to pick one movie to watch for the entire, like, afternoon. I would pick Yoga Hoses, man. What can I say? Had fun with it. And um, I just want to get... Uh, I just want to get the bad stuff out of the way first so we can um, talk about the positives uh, around the end. Uh, one, the biggest issue with this movie is that so many things are shoehorned in. Uh, I might give you a slight spoiler warning for this movie for now. Um... But there's a thing going on with Hunter Calloway and his friend. Now these guys are high school, uh, high school kids who go to high school um, with these two girls. And um, at first you think they're nice because they invite you know these two girls to their party. But turns out these guys are complete lunatics who believe in Satan and they want to chop these um, two girls up to bits. And you think they're like helping the Bratsies. They have a big, uh, they have a big thing to do in the in the movie, like, they, they're they a part of the plot um, for most of it. No, they're not. They just want to kill them, and then once they die, because they get killed by the Bratsies, um, that's it for them. They're never mentioned again. They're, they're, the reason why they wanted to kill the two girls is never mentioned again. They had nothing to do with the Bratsies, and it was shoehorned in just because I think Kevin Smith wanted Hunter Calloway in the actual movie, um, or that the guy who plays him, anyway. And um, you have Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, even though he doesn't really he doesn't really fit into these movies, like including Tusk and Yoga Hoses, he felt way more useful in Tusk. He actually had something to do. In this movie, he felt like he had nothing to do. He breaks the Colleen's with the two girls out of jail at one point, but that's it. That is really it. He does nothing else. He doesn't even help them at all. He just says a couple funny lines that are kind of dumb, but that's really it. That is it for Johnny Depp. Uh, but that's really it. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this movie. And um, also, the movie is kind of sloppy when it comes to picking a plot. Like at one at one stage, it has uh, one plot, and then at another stage, it has another plot. Like they couldn't really pick. But I told you the real main plot of the movie, um, which is you know really the big plot by the end of it. 
Um, my favourite thing about this um, film is actually quite surprising. The movie, my, my favourite thing about this movie, my voice just went, my voice just went really high then, sorry. Um, but my, the, my, um, my biggest uh, like of this movie, my brother, the biggest thing I like uh, um, in this movie is, so, uh, is Justin Long. I really do like Justin Long in this movie. I think he's a very uh, cool character, even though he's a bit over the top. Um, he's even a bit more over the top than the walrus he played. Um, he still is really funny. Uh, he has a problem, he has a problem with, uh, Warner Brothers, which is actually pretty funny that I, I just enjoyed it. I just enjoyed his character. Like, the yoga, the yoga sessions that the girls have got, lasts for about five minutes in total. Those were the best bits about the movie, in my opinion. Um, and it has a lot of references to Tusk, this film. Um, like, apparent, um, like, before all these events happen, like, with the Bratis and stuff, the two girls, the Colleen's, are, uh, are famous because they apparently saved Justin Long's life uh, because they helped out Guy Le Pointe, uh just briefly, in Tusk. Um, and, yeah, so, guys, it's a dumb film in a way. It is kind of dumb and a bit stupid and a bit poorly edited, but you can have fun with it. You can survive watching it for a day, like, five times. It is a bit of a different a film for Kevin Smith, but um, it also has a vibe. Of, also has the vibe of Dogma in a way. Dogma, Clerks, and Tusk, because it is in the same world. Um, but we have Moose Jaws coming up next about basically Jaws with Moose. That's all Kevin Smith has said. Um, but yeah, in the end, I found this movie okay. The actors were right, uh, especially Harley Quinn Smith. I really liked. Haley Joel Osment has a good cameo. Um, Genesis Rodriguez has a, com a good cameo. Um, Lily Rose Depp was okay. I still think I like Harley Quinn Smith as an actor a bit more. I know I'll get a lot of hate for that, as um, lots of people think they're both just absolutely terrible. But I think she has a, they both have a lot of potential. And yeah, so in the end, guys, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's a bit dumb, but yeah, it's, it's good. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.8. I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. But yeah, have a fun time with this movie. It's funny. Uh, lots of references to Tusk, so if you like Tusk, you'll be like, Oh, oh, I know that, I know that, I saw it, I saw the walrus picture in the magazine or whatever. So yeah, um, you all know what I mean when you see the movie. Um, so yeah, signing off from the Great White North. That's a reference from Tusk. I'm not in Canada. I'm not in Canada. Trust me, I swear. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Bye.